What is going on, guys? Just ran with it and Mr. Leafy. And yo, we are back, man. Yes. And we are chilling out this Saturday, and we got we got something we're both excited for. Because mm -hmm. today, guys, we're gonna be checking out what's it called again? The Boundless CF Vaporizer. Yes. So yes. if you guys are familiar, you guys seen me use the Crafty and the Mighty quite a bit on my channel, and people have asked a lot of questions about that device. And it is a, it's an awesome unit, but that thing is a little pricey. Mm -hmm. So Mr. Leafy wanted to check out a vaporizer of his own, and we found one that we think is going to be a pretty good contender and maybe match up to the to the Crafty Plus. Yeah. So we're going to be checking this guy out today and seeing mm -hmm. what Mr. Leafy thinks of it and does it compare to the Mighty and the Crafty. Yeah. And I'm excited too because this is this is a brand new car for me. I got a a nice little Cadillac, and I've been wanting to smoke in it, but it's been smelling too good. The guy oh, before man. me. Took care of this car so good, it's immaculate, and I'd want to keep it that way. So hopefully this vaporizer helps me smoke in the car. Dude, this thing literally <laughs> smells like a brand new fresh car. Yeah. How long have you had it for? Uh, I think probably like two weeks now. And no, no, no smoking. <sighs> no smoking. It. I've been keeping another one. I've been hot boxing that thing. <laughs> well, let's find out what's up with this thing. And hell yeah, doesn't make your car stink. <laughs> yeah, so if it holds up to the test, you know this. This will probably be the only time I smoke in the car if it doesn't work. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get it. I don't know. Hold on, man. Take me a <laughs> And yeah, man. Thank you to Just Ran for this one for sure too. You know, he uh, recommended this one to me. He said he wanted to try this one out before he got the crafty. So I hope it holds up good. I hope so too, because this was on my list for for a while when I wanted to check out a vaporizer, mm -hmm. and the price looked way too good. I think it was what a hundred hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Yep. All right, hold on, guys. I got I, I got to rip this thing open. Ooh. What's it looking like, man? Yo, <laughs> check it out, man. Yo. Oh, the trippy sticker. What the hell? Oh, that looks cool. That does not look like a hundred dollar item right Yo, there. Yo, this okay, what the <laughs> hell? All right, the hundred dollars is all in the box. Yo, for real. All right, the trippy ass sticker. The trippy sticker. The trippy sticker is cool. But the boundless CF vape. And yo, the cool thing about this one too, guys, is that this vaporizer is uh convection and conduction on that's here. Cool. So that's that's what I prefer. Okay, cool. All right, we gotta crack this guy open. Uh, I got you, I got you. Okay. I'm excited, man. This is. I'm excited too. I think we waited like only a couple days. Yeah, like four days or something like that. It was like late by a day, and the shipping was pretty damn fast. They shipped it out this next day. So, dude, this is you looks guys sick. You guys are ever on Planet of the Vapes on online? You know they're selling some really good stuff over there. All right, so it says what's included in the box. It says one uh, CF vaporizer, one USB charging cable, one cleaning brush. Oh, okay. oh cool. So the liquid uh, waxy chamber, nice. CF stir tool, and CF user manual. Okay. Damn, man. All right, we got to get this sucker out. <laughs> Yo, this is nuts. No way. All right, Pagan's looking official. Fancy, on huh? I don't know if this thing's charged up. This could, this could all go south. Okay, yeah, it could, but hey, we could charge it up right in here. Bro, oh, that thing's sick, look. man. It just opens up just like the Crafty, too, man. That is that is nuts. It's got a couple different uh, settings, too, for for different uh, concentrates, for flour. This is about to be badass. Yo, this is a this is a cool little kit. All right, so I don't know how to turn this on. I'm going to let Just Ran take care of, you know, all this stuff right here. I think it's USB-C on there. That, that looks like the beefy one. Yeah, it's the regular regular one. No, that's I think that's a C. Oh, it's a C? Okay. Oh, wait, no, is it? I guess regular USB? Yeah, regular. I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, because USB-C is like any direction. Yeah, it's like a weird, it's like this one right here. That's on right. A, uh, yeah. I have USB-C, I should know better. I should take a hit of this. All right, cool, so you get, yo, look at these too. Oh, okay. So, so the brush is, a, is official, man, because you want to definitely clean that out in between sessions. So this is like for the gunk? So that's to stir it up. Um, oh, that's to stir, stir it in there? Yeah, like if your bowl like wasn't evenly vaporized, you can mix it up. I never use it. Okay. Uh, but that's when you're done, you like empty your flour out and then you can stir that sucker up. Oh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, I was like thinking the other day, I was like, Yo, how am I going to clean this thing? And then what do we got here? So what? this is going to be the, the wax chamber. Ooh. Nice. So that's like for concentrates? Yeah. You just oh, throw shit. it in there and just throw your concentrates in there? We'll have to look this up because it's got some, looks like it's got some like wicking material in there, but maybe you just blab it in. We'll, we'll have to read the manual on that one. Heck yeah. That's fire. Well, let's let's check out the mod, man. Your Crafty doesn't have that though. You can just throw it in there, right? Uh, it has a pad you can, you can toss it into. Oh, okay. 
see what's up. Oh, so it's on. Five clicks turns it on. Yo, and no then, way. All right, so I guess it just starts right up on the heating. It looks like an alien material, man. Oh, cool. So if you double click it, that'll bump the settings up on oh, here. Okay. So that's 385. So which one's a good setting? 400, 415. Oh, that's sick. What's, what's a good one to vape at? I will turn this off real quick. So normally, like for myself, 385 is a, is a pretty cool. much a, a sweet spot. Cool. All right, so for the flower that we're going to be vaporizing Damn. today. Yo, that's a big freaking bowl in there. Yeah, Holy nice. shit. Yeah. Yeah, what do we got for the flower? Uh, the flower we got today is some Afghan, well, actually, it's an Afghan land race. From the 1980s, man. So this Afghan is skunk. this is this is what I've been like waiting for, and I'm glad we freaking got this like not too long ago, man. bro. This is gonna be some dang bud to smoke with yeah. you, because you want to make sure when you're vaporizing, you have like really good like sticky bud. vapor production going on there. Ooh, that shit stinks, bro. Yeah, it, it stinks horribly, but hey, no, nah, it's good, man. The skunkiness is there. Right. It's smelling like it should. This is nuts. This is sick, man. All right, this this bud is so sticky that these nugs <laughs> are all just stuck together. It just oh, it smells like a skunk's ass. <laughs> that is that is cool, man. Damn. That's sick. That was that was cool. All right, well, we're gonna grind some of this up real quick. Yeah, and we'll be right back. Hang Heck tight, yeah. guys. All right, guys, we got our butt all grinded up, so we're gonna see how this thing loads up because the chamber in here is, is freaking beefy as hell. Yo, that is cool as shit. That's a beefy ass chamber in there, man. That's a lot of butt in there. <laughs> this is gonna hit nice. Okay. All right, cool. Cap this sucker off. Five clicks on. 385, we'll be back once this thing warms up. All right, so I think this thing is ready to go. We've been chilling out, letting it warm up, but man, it's just smelling freaking dank going on mm -hmm. in here. So I think Mr. Leafy, give it a pull. See what's see what's happening with this sucker. All right. You sure? All right. I'm going to do the honors. Your vape, your bud, man. Ooh, she's hitting. So that, that warm-up time has got to be super fast on there. It tastes good. This is freaking nice, man. Hell yeah. Nice and terpy. We smoked this last night in the Black Sweets, and it was very terpy, too. Yo, this is freaking good, man. You're getting those, like, menthol notes in there and shit? Ooh, that's freaking wild. It tastes like herbal peppermint, man. A little skunky? Mm -hmm. Yo, terps with this vaporizer, this is freaking nice. I don't know how the hell this thing works, but it's hitting good. It's 100 bucks. I, I can't believe it. Me and Just Fran were like, screw it. Let's buy it. If it doesn't... If it sucks, it, it, it sucks. If it sucks, it sucks. We just send it back because this company planted other vapes. Say if you do have a problem with it, you could just send it back. No hassle free. So this is freaking nice, man. Yeah, you do get those peppery notes. You get the you get the, the earthiness, the, that yeah. peppermint too, the mentholiness the is there too. Skunkiness. But this thing's a creeper, man. That's Yo, a, like take a pull on that. Like on like cold air, pull through. Yeah, yep. That peppermint. You get the freaking peppermint. In Mexico, we call this thing. We call it yerba buena, and I didn't know what peppermint was in, in like, in English. And yesterday I looked it up. I was like, I translated yerba buena to fucking English. You were was, confused. And it yesterday. was peppermint. Yeah, <laughs> I was very confused. I was like, man, you're like this shit tastes like something I had back in the day. Man, the terps on this are very enjoyable. That vaporizer, no joke for a hundred bucks. That thing's banging. It's working good. It's working great. Okay. I don't, we got to definitely read, like, is there any, like, auto buzzes? Like, how does it, does yeah. it know when to turn off? Does it have a session on it? But honestly, for just, like, getting this thing out of the box and throwing some butt in this thing, Terps are good, man. And the freaking, the vapor production's there. 
it's heating up. It's it's tasting good as hell. It's got everything I'm looking for in a vaporizer. Nice. Hey. So the CF man, the CF. You guys see it? This is definitely. Pick it up. I'm gonna definitely do some more tests on it. You know, you guys will probably see these in, is this in videos that I do in the future. Honestly, no bullshit. That's throwing out clouds just like the freaking crafty wood. A hundred bucks, man. So good. And I feel like when you use a vaporizer, you never taste the bud like you taste it when you have it in the vaporizer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like it's a very distinct taste. And you could just see it, it's just like just evaporating as we smoke too. Yeah, I feel like whenever I have it, like the aroma is more like a it it's smells light. like kind of like weedy popcorn, like a like a burnt weed not burnt, but like a you know when you like overdo popcorn a little bit too much? Yeah. That's the aroma you get. Like a little <laughs> bit of the bud, but that's it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have that like dankness that's gonna last. Yeah. Dang man, I was excited about this. Now I can smoke in my car. Yo, this is freaking dope, man. What's it say? Oh, okay. I was just seeing what the box said. Convection conduction, that's where it's at. It just feels, like, off. just feels like this thing gets hot. Yo, the mouthpiece, right? Like, mm -hmm. you feel like, I feel like the mouthpiece okay. gives me a little bit of a, there it, it goes. It blinks, okay. It, it does it pretty quick, no? Well, so we just started it back up. Oh, okay. So it's already back at that temperature. So I guess we'll have, because we were messing around with it when we were uh, off camera. This is this is pretty hot. You can feel it on your lips. Yeah, that's the one thing I can say is the vapor around the mouthpiece gets mm -hmm. a little bit of a, a hot pull on it. Yeah, right. But I feel like just to combat that, just kind of put your mouth a little bit over it. Yeah, yep. Dang, it just feels so much cleaner than just smoking a blunt. Oh, for sure. Mm -hmm. No combustion, so... It's really like the cleanest way you can smoke, well, vaporized flour. Yo, this freaking CF is impressive though. This is. It does get hot, like, you know, like like any any of these uh, mods would do. Mine does too, yeah, because mm -hmm. you got to remember, like, well, the material on here has like some ribs um, for like ventilation on here, as mm -hmm. well as like grip ergonomics. Mm -hmm. The mod itself, you know, this is, this is internal temperature is 385. And actually it probably goes a couple of degrees higher. Mm -hmm. Like the Crafty and the Mighty, if you're at like 415, you're really at like 420. Okay. So, because it goes a little bit higher than that that temperature, so when you take a pull on it, mm. it can kind of keep it bringing back up, like regulated. Word. Oh, cool. So, bottom airflow on here too. That I don't know if you guys can see, but see that? Mm -hmm. That has your There's airflow vent. Some little holes in there. Well, yeah. So if you uh, if you put your finger over that, you'll block it off. It's not gonna pull. That is so freaking cool, man. I never thought I would own one of these things, <coughs> bro. Honestly, for like a hundred bucks. That is a sick vaporizer. That's like a great value. Because like it's hard to find one. Like I feel like I've wasted so much money on like fifty to ninety dollar vaporizers that were never that good. <coughs> but the vapor there, <coughs> the taste is freaking there too. Yo, for real. <coughs> and that Afghan is things a one man. The Afghan is smacking. How long do you think this bowl would go for if you were just smoking it by yourself? I mean, honestly, like, the way I, I go by bowl is by taste. Like, mm -hmm. when it gets more of that, you know, the aroma we're smelling? When mm -hmm. you start to taste that, that's kind of a sign saying it's done. But mm -hmm. also vapor production. So, this shit's still throwing out vapor. We're still going. And I can keep this bud, right, and, and eat it? Or You can eat it. You can save it to make edibles down the road. Okay. Maybe you take this bud and, like, throw this just, like, on some peanut butter on a cracker or something. They call it, like, firecrackers. It gets you... It gets you fucked, right? It gets you blitzed. I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what you gotta do is get a little container now and uh, keep all that stuff. I think, yeah, I should have one in the back over there. Dang, man. We've been very blessed, man, this year. We've been really, really blessed. Also, like right now, actually, this is when you can tell the bulls come to the end. The mm -hmm. vapor production starting to really get like muted on here. Yeah. And yo, I agree with that, man. We've been freaking blessed. Hell yeah. This has been a great year. It's only it's only just begun. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's like I moved into a new house. It's still going a little bit more. Got a new car. <laughs> you got a sick vape. <laughs> yeah, the vape to smoke in the car. <laughs> well, man, thank God for real. And thank all you guys and thank Just Ran. Because without Just Ran, I don't think I'll be here, man. Well, without you guys too, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be here. And without you, word. 
shit. Oh man, this stuff is really, really smacking though. It's, it's a creeper. It this is 1980s weed. It like literally went through a time machine. <laughs> it's funny. Like last night, you were like, "Yo, I don't know about this stuff." And next thing you know, we were like one blunt in, and we're like, "I don't think we need to really smoke the second one." Yeah, it was yeah, it was like we smoked on three people, and we were just all blazed off of one. It's yeah. a it's a good feel with this strain, man. It's kind of like it has that like just like perfect balance in there. Yeah, it's like it's like an indica that may like. It's close to bringing you over the top, but it's like. But it's not also there. putting you back down yeah. too. Mm -hmm. It's just not there. But if you're like you're definitely a new smoker, this strain will just put you on your ass. Yeah, no this has got what. like mad body effect, mm -hmm. mad heady cerebralness. Mm -hmm. And like I like this because like when you like come down from it, like literally you have no grogginess. Yeah, no, no grogginess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like I could definitely smoke this and go to sleep. But at the same time, like, if I had to get some shit done in the morning, this is a good strain. Mm hmm Dang, this is, this is dope as hell. I don't know, man. I'm kind of, like, I'm not even going to front, man. I love my crafty and my mighty, but, like, this thing is... If you this think thing, you might get one of these to... to, to I don't... To uh, not to pop out the crafty and the mighty that much? You know, I honestly think I would pick one of these up and put it as a backup. If, God forbid, anything ever happened to my mighty yeah. be, or my crafty. Because this is really on par with the crafty. Oh, so, so it does have a session timer. It just turns off. Okay. And this so thing's still freaking it's going, still man. Going. It's still going. So, what you need to do? You need to press it like the crafty, like probably while it's going. Oh uh, yeah. So I kind of wonder if the same thing. Like mine mm -hmm. has a feature where, like, if I just hit the button once randomly, it'll like it has a buzz to them. Mm -hmm. And if I hit the button, it'll it extend the bowl life. I have to read the manual for sure, for sure. I'm gonna study that thing. But honestly, for out of the box though, it's pretty much user friendly. It came mostly charged. It has pass through charging on there. It fucking hits great. It's definitely the flavors coming to a mute now. But like it's still throwing out vapor, so really good convection conduction in there. Like, I like my mighty and I like my crafty, but God, if I just bought this thing for the price, I think I would have been happy as a clam with this really? thing. Yeah, really? yeah, no joke. That's... It's got good quality on it as long as it holds up. Damn, man, I'm, I was real freaking excited. For it. I can't believe I have this shit in my hands right now, man. This shit is dope, man. Well, thank you, bro. No problem, man. Ooh. Yeah, me and Just Fan figured we just like go halves on this thing and just you know what I mean, put it put it to the channel, Yo, test it out seriously, man, and put it to the test too. <laughs> it's freaking smacking. Yeah, we went halves on this for science. <laughs> Yo, for real, it's just like like I know you know the crafty is like one of those things. It's like well, it is it is it is a lot of money to some people, you know. It, no, for and sure, some people man. can't afford it. You know, it's so a, it's like. I couldn't afford I couldn't afford the stores in Bickle. You know what I mean? Crafty. Look, I know? love my stores in Bickle. Yeah. And like, but I'm not going to lie, man. That thing is really freaking expensive. And while it does hold up, and mm -hmm. I literally took that thing on like missions yeah. to Mars. And I mean, I beat the crap out of the thing. Yeah. And I've gotten every dollar out of it. It is it is an expensive mod. And the CF is freaking doing some pretty badass stuff. Yeah. I don't know how like the dabs would work when I was looking at the instructions a little bit. Mm -hmm. But like just from a vaporizing the flower standpoint, and you could even turn around and put some dabs like on top of some flower. Yeah. You know, like do the and Dragon Ball style. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's cool. It's just it's definitely budget friendly, man. Definitely budget friendly. It's budget friendly, it's user friendly. It's still I was talking shit on the turfs, but it's still throwing out vapor, man. It's nuts, right? What the heck? I feel like we gotta open it up and see, man. We've been puffing on this thing for like eleven minutes. And this pop, thing is pop still it, pop it open and see what it does. This dude. thing is still freaking be careful going. inside as heck. Oh, where's that stir tool? Right here. Oh, you got the tool? Mm -hmm. Or did I put it back in the box? No, see the cup. Word. Alright, let's stir this up and see what's going on inside there. Damn man, this thing is still going. <coughs> <coughs> Dang man. Can't. Oh, it's still going, man. You don't even have to stir this up. There's no burn spots in this so far. It's definitely getting that like color of like it's done. Yeah. But man, I'm I'm definitely happy for this because I was gonna get a mod that you were just like, man, don't don't even do it, man. Oh yeah, what <laughs> was it? I like, was like, don't do it. You're gonna waste your money. Yo, for real. And I'm like, oh man, it looked cool, but it just wasn't it wasn't gonna do the job. Honestly, I've done that the first, that's why I got the Crafty, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the Crafty Plus, because mm -hmm. I bought two freaking mods that I went to a vape shop, they were like, or a smoke shop, they were like, yo, these things are the best, and they were terrible. It was like, I think I wasted like 150 bucks, and it was Damn, like, it's all fucked. God, this is so freaking good, man. It's like, all right, you're not, <laughs> you're not like, 
Not getting that nicotine from the blunt, but like just the pure herb is amazing, man. Oh yeah. Yeah. The taste, everything about it, man. The flavors are all there. The one thing I will say about this thing, and heed my warning with this, because my crafty and my mighty, they're made of some crazy ass material. Like while they are a pretty penny, mm -hmm. I will say that thing has like fallen out of my truck before. I think I even oh, dropped yeah. it right on my bike once before. This, oh, I ran it over too with my bike. Yeah. That will not take a hit, I feel like. No, so you no, gotta this, be that You gotta sucker. be careful with this thing. Yeah, that the material on there feels good, but I feel like one too many drops and you'll it's craft the, It's the thing. quality. Yeah, exactly. Of, of the yeah, of the crafty. That's yep, because you feel you feel the crafty. It is heavy. You feel like it's metal. This you feel it. It's like all plastic. You know. Well, the money and the crafty are plastic too, but they're like I think mm -hmm. like air air grade aircraft grade plastic. Shit. Yeah, okay, they're, crazy, they're like man. okay, they're, they're German they're, engineered man. They're they're some they're on some shit. Hell yeah, <laughs> definitely built tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is like yeah, you can tell this is you know a little less material. Than it. <laughs> That's cool. Yo, I swear, man, this thing is still throwing out vapor. I can't believe it. I'm like, what the heck? I could have could have sworn. If you've made it this far in the review, this gets a 10 out of 10, man. Yo, facts. Because this thing is legit. <coughs> God. Man, two weeks without smoking in a vehicle, bro. Yeah. I was smoking in the cold, in the rain. <laughs> man. I the stoner struggles. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, man. I feel spoiled, but, man, you know, I think ever since I started smoking, I had a vehicle, you know? So I, every vehicle I had, I've smoked in. And this is the one that I'm like, yo, I got to put this thing to the test and see Ooh. if it actually works. <laughs> I mean, it's smelling wild in here, but it will definitely air out in a, in a little bit. Cool. But, no, the, the vapor doesn't stick like uh, like traditional smoke. And plus, when you're smoking blunts, man, it's you're getting the wrap, all that stuff, the Everything, tobacco. Everything, yeah. There's like ash everywhere. You're like, what the heck? Dang, man, I, I'm I'm still surprised on this thing. It's just, it keeps going like a champ. I I want to say there's like the bowl's done, but yeah. I swear I'm gonna I'm gonna hand it to you, and you're probably gonna get a hit on it. The only thing I don't like about it is the tip. That's that's the only, it gets yo hot no bullshit. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta make sure you don't. If you put your mouth too close to the end of it, it'll freaking burn your lip. Yeah, and I'm, I don't know. I think at some point it may melt. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll do a follow up. On uh, yeah, this thing. we'll definitely do a follow up. You know, I don't know, man. I think we said enough about this sucker. I'm I'm thoroughly digging this thing. Hell yeah! And this thing just turned itself off. Time to get that's, ourselves out of here. That's it. Yo, well, guys, the CF vape, the bountyless or boundless. I give it two thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up as well. You see my other thumb, but it's there. Yo, this shit is definitely worth checking out, guys. Heck yeah! As always, thank you for stopping on over here and smoking along with us. And peace. peace. <laughs>